What's up, Tech Heart? How's everybody doing tonight? I've been off of here for a little while, but I wanted to come back and share some of my experiences with the Framework Laptop. So I've been rocking the Framework for about 18 months, maybe even two years, right when the first batches came out. This is a batch three. Um, mine is pretty dinged up and bent and really used, but it's been great um, until a couple days ago when I came home and I had it in a bag. So I thought maybe the power died, but I pushed the button and it's dead to the world tech art. I mean, absolutely finito, nothing. You get cock soup. So I thought maybe the battery completely ran dry. So let's plug in USB-C. We'll give it a couple seconds because hey, maybe it's got a charge, right? Now let's turn that sucker on. Well, there's nothing. And I've been using this laptop for a long time, so I know that when you apply power, there are small LEDs on the side here that flash. I think they flash red or something, uh, but they flash. This framework is literally dead to the world, and I hope tonight we're gonna fix it, we're gonna talk about why this happened, and we're gonna have a working framework at the end. So come along, if you found this because you have a dead framework, let's go fix that thing. All right, Tech Heart, I'll catch you on, on the desk. All right, rock stars. So I'm on a uh, elementary OS laptop. Let's open up the browser. The first thing I did is posted a Reddit post asking about this issue, and I got a fast reply. CDW says, 11th gen Intel by chance? Well, yes it is, sir. If so, likely the CMOS slash RTC battery issue. Well documented. And then he linked to a framework support article. So let's open that up. Maybe we'll get some answers. Fully resetting the main board state. In the event your framework laptop 13, 11th gen, that's mine, isn't powering on, it may be necessary to reset the state of the main board by fully cycling power to it. Usually, you'll only need to do this if directed to by a knowledge base article or by the framework support team. If you're on a framework laptop 13 and have needed to reset your main board more than once, it may be that your RTC battery has reached the end of its life cycle and is no longer holding a full charge. You can reach out to framework support to request a free replacement RTC battery, or if you have expertise with soldering, an RTC battery substitute module that removes the need for an RTC battery. To make the request process go smoothly, enter the email address that you ordered the 11th gen product on and include photos of the system and mainboard serial numbers. So we'll make sure to do that. All we'll need is our framework screwdriver and a sim eject tool and we can get going. We're gonna power the framework off, which is already is, it's dead to the world. Unplug power, okay, we'll do that. Unscrew to five fasteners on the bottom. Okay, I've already unscrewed those actually. Remove the keyboard, lift up and flip over the input cover. Eject the RTC coin cell, easy peasy. Unplug the framework laptop battery. So I think this is the connector right there. We'll disconnect the battery from the system. Plug in AC power and it says, now with the battery and RTC coin cell removed, plug your power adapter back into the laptop. At this point, you should see the LEDs on the left and right sides of the main board start to blink red. And that's what I noticed I didn't have. I mean, it's dead to the world. The framework, no matter what, when you plug in power, those LEDs flash. If the LEDs do not blink red, confirm that the power adapter is working, which I know mine is, or by using a different power adapter on the laptop. If you still do not see blinking red or run into any issues along the way, we'll have to reach out to framework support. Then we'll, oh, I was about to say, they don't want us to disconnect the power. We'll disconnect power and then we'll reinsert the RTC coin cell back into the framework. We'll double check that battery pins are straight. Reconnect the battery connector. Make sure the touchpad cable is fully inserted. It's on the keyboard, I believe. And place the input cover back on. Screw everything up. And then it says, plug your power adapter back in and let the laptop charge for 24 hours. You can use your laptop, but make sure it's plugged in 
to recharge that RTC coin cell. So let's try that out, guys. I'll catch you on the bench, and we're going to dig into our framework and hopefully breathe some new life into our dead framework 11th gen. Let's rock and roll, baby! Okay, guys, here we are. We have the framework tool, has all the uh, heads that we'll need, and a spudger. We have a framework laptop. I'm going to remove all the user ports, just so that we don't just so that we don't have anything else messing with us. Inside of these user ports are just USB-C connectors, so we can plug our charger directly in. Um, as stated, I've already removed these five screws, but you'd have to remove yours, and it's super simple. I really like this design because these screws are set in there, and you don't remove them, they won't fall out. So that's really cool. Let's open our framework. I think this view will be better for you anyway because the, uh, the keyboard removes this way. So you just kind of grab that. And that comes right off. Don't pull too far because uh, there's a wire here. We can remove that and uh, set this aside. <clears throat> There's our RTC coin cell, and they've said that it's, you gotta be very careful because these are brittle, so I don't wanna break this. Um, I'm kinda scared about it a little bit. Also, it said first uh, disconnect the battery. So, here's the battery cable. I'm gonna unscrew the battery. Um, I, I think I want to do that. I don't know if these screws come out. They don't feel like they do. Look at that. It's just three screws on this battery. That's how things should be. Now, will I be able to lift that up? Yeah, it looks like it's going to come right out. Let's see. Yeah. Well, it's not going to want to come out because of that cable. So, I guess... Uh, it's kind of a moot point. I don't like that connector, and how am I going to disconnect that? Let's see. Hmm. Actually, is it connected here? Yeah. Okay. I see. So that battery was connected here. The, the cable, the connector is on the battery. So I removed my entire battery. If you like, this give you a chance to clean up in here. Make sure all your wires are good. Now I gotta remove this uh, coin cell. So the instructions on the uh, webpage are using a SIM eject tool. So I've got to insert the pin into the hole at the bottom edge of the coin cell receptacle and tilt it down to eject the coin cell battery. Use caution here as improper removal can potentially result in damage to the RTC cradle, the plastic. So I've got to use my old eyes, and I believe that's on this side. There it is. Oh, it, it popped right out. That was extremely easy, and I don't know where the battery is. Let me go find that. <laughs> oh, it was right under the framework. Come on. Okay, so now I have my coin cell battery out. We've unplugged the main battery, and now we're supposed to plug in AC power. I have AC power. Okay, so I've got AC power right here. You know what? This is a uh, an L bracket, so I am gonna use the uh, user port. I'll just slide it in, because I don't think it's damaged. Like I said, I think the issue is what we're fixing here. So we'll plug that in. Oh look, it's already come to life. So we can already see these are the LEDs that are supposed to be flashing when you plug in power. So this is gonna be a, a fix here, guys. It tells us to remove our power, reinsert our coin cell, and if I remember right, it went in at this angle, so I'll put that side down. I don't wanna breathe. There, it went right in, that's fine. Easy peasy. Double check that the pins are straight, and they look straight to me those pins right in there. Let's 
This battery goes down here. Now, this is tricky though. I mean, not too terrible. Oops. Pins aren't straight now. <laughs> okay, I think that's in. So we'll put our battery in, plug our, our keyboard. keyboard, and it says to check that the touchpad cable is completely inserted, which I know it is. I broke my little loop right here. There's a loop so that you can just pull up with your fingers. Mine broke, but anyway, we'll come over here and we'll plug the keyboard in. There's that. Now there's magnets all the way around, so I always just kind of start up here. There's our framework back. Uh, now we can just use these to screw in all of our screws. I've had mine almost since launch for over 18 months, and it's been a beast of a computer. I've dropped mine, um, but I can order a new outer shell and keep using it. I hope to do some upgrades. The first hinges weren't the best, and the, the screen is kind of wobbly at times, or it's easy to move, push. And so I would like to order the upgraded hinges. I think they're four pound hinges, and it makes the monitor more tight. So on the very first patches, the monitor is kind of floppy. So you can get new hinges. And like I said, I've damaged mine, but I can order a new back. Uh, a new back LCD case. I have another dent somewhere around here. But you can order all those replacement parts and literally make a new laptop. So let's get in all of our user ports. Okay. I'll face that towards y'all. We can put our one tool that does everything we need to the framework laptop away. And now it says plug in power. I can see the side LEDs solid now. I think it was flashing when we put it in it earlier, uh, but now just this side is solid. So I think that means, you know, there is a battery in there. And as stated, we need to leave this plugged in so that the RTC coin bell recharges. This was dead to the world, I assume because that RTC coin cell completely depleted. If that happens again, I'll get a new 1220 rechargeable coin cell battery and try installing a new one. And if it happens again beyond that, Framework will send you a solution through the mail. I don't even need to buy um, one of those rechargeable batteries. I'm just going to open up a ticket with Framework. So we are charging. Let's see if we can boot. Yep. No LEDs or no lights at all were coming on when this issue started. So that was pretty fun, guys. Just wanted to share with you my issue with the framework uh, because I think maybe some of you might go through this at one point or another too. I can see it's not booting, so let's give this video a little bit longer, shall we? Okay, Tech Carters, just a quick update. I gave the system about 30 minutes of charging, and now when I push the power button, we get a system boot, baby. So I just think that RTC battery, or even my main battery, was so depleted that the system wasn't ready to boot yet. But we fixed the issue. Oh yeah, Tech Heart out, baby.